Hey guys, it's Cheryl from Tinker's Cart Art. Just popping in this morning to paint some snowmen. I know it's fall out there and we have all the leaves falling, but it's not too early to take um, get some ideas for some Christmas gifts. And these little snowmen are so perfect. Uh, we can paint them on anything, any kind of little tiny thing you find. And they make great little hostess gifts or gifts for the kids. Hey, Patty, thanks for popping in. So. They're really quick and easy, these little guys. I paint them on all sorts of things. You could paint them on the little, these are ceramic ornaments. I just painted them a base color. And this is just a little glass ornament. It's not plastic, it's glass. I use on glass the multi-purpose, uh, multi-surface paints. I've done them on wine glasses. Uh, any little thing, little candles or uh, the votive holders, these little canvas pieces here, are actually magnets. So I got these at Hobby Lobby and you could put it on the little easel like it's a little canvas, but it's a magnet. So how fun are these? You could personalize them. They are great, like I said, for little gifts for the mailman or if you're giving somebody um, cash, you know, which everyone loves, throw one of these in it. You could put the date. They're fun. Wait till you see how easy they are. They're small. So keep your eyes out when you're out shopping about and any little thing that has something blank on it, think of putting on a snowman. So, hey, good morning, you guys. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mary Jo. So I am going to um, put my camera down and show you. This is pretty quick and easy. Um, you don't need that many colors or anything. So let's just get you, sorry about that little roller coaster ride you're getting now this morning, but I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing and you don't really need to see me to do that. So, Let's get that all in there. And, uh, and I'm going to watch you on my computer, so I'm going to throw you up on my laptop if you have any questions. I've painted a few of these little guys. I actually painted um, some yesterday for a video, and then the camera kind of went out on me, so I thought I will jump on here live and do this with you guys. So let's get it so you can actually see what I'm working on and not just the other guys. And I'm working on a little delay here on my video. So I want to get it just right. Okay, so these are the little guys. I'm just painting it on paper right now. Keep in mind of all the things that you can do them on. All sorts of surfaces. Um, these little ceramic balls were fun. Anything glass. If you're using glass, you want to use the multi-surface paint. It's for glass. Um, it's an acrylic paint. Comes in little bottles like this. But just watch. It says multi-surface. On my wine glasses, I actually bake those in the oven afterwards, and that really seals that paint on there. But let's just throw a little um, snowman family here. And actually, that would be fun if you had, like, mom and dad, the little baby. You could put a couple little ones. Um, you could make little snowman family for your family. Okay, simple. I just threw it. All I use, really, for my snowman is some white. I use a gray blue to shade. I'm using that kind of Prussian-y blue, but you could mix up any blue you have with a little black. A little brown for his arms, uh, nose and buttons are black, and then whatever colors you like for their hats and scarves, you can just pull that out. I'm going to just use a couple brushes. I just have a round. I have a filbert. You could certainly just use a flat, whatever you have. And I do have a little tiny detail brush for their features, but remember you can always even use a marker, a paint marker, or a um, even a Sharpie for these little guys. So I am going to just base my snowman in. So what I do is I start my snowman with kind of a light blue-gray. So I don't go right on into the white. I want a little bit of a shadow to start so that when I start building up some layers of the white, that white really pops up. So we're going to just, let's see, we'll make a snowman here. I'm painting on paper, so it's going to dry a little quicker, which is actually good for the demo. Um, but it's a textured paper, so that's why it looks a little rough there. I am going to add a little black. I want more of a blue-gray to start. If you wanted, you, of course, can sketch your guys on. But really, they're just three little balls. They're simple. We'll do one here, one here. We'll put a little one in the middle. Everybody ready for some Christmas projects? We're having a blast with Halloween, but if we don't start now on Christmas gifts, we'll be painting on Christmas Eve. 
and I've done that before. So let's try to get a little bit ahead of the game here. Little guy in the middle. See, they're very gray right now, but that's okay. That's how I start. I'm actually going to get, I'm not crazy about that blue I have there. It's very slate blue. I'm gonna get something a little brighter, more like a um, ultramarine or a primary blue. I'm just gonna add a little of that. I prefer that kind of a blue color. My guy on the left here is gonna be sort of shaded on the left and I shade underneath where the little balls are. This lady or man, I, they could be either. I'm just gonna put little colorful scarves on them. You can really get more elaborate with the details if you want to. You could go ahead and add much more detailed little clothing and scarves. I'm doing them just kind of quick because when I'm painting these on these tiny bits and things, we don't need too much detail on them. And for some snow on the bottom, I usually just will take a flat brush. Again, I'm starting it with that blue. A little bit of a blue-gray, just to where I want it. Now, I'm painting on a blue background, so it's really not going to show up. But we'll just get a little bit of a base in there. And I'd rather start things on the dark side so that when I work my way up to the brighter colors, they really pop off the background. So you'll see me a lot of times painting just a little darker and then bringing the color up. So let's get some white on these guys, because they're snowmen after all. So I've got my base coat a blue-gray. I'm going to go right over. This um, blue underneath is going to kind of seep through a little bit, and that's what I want. And again, my paint's kind of dry and um, just has that textured look because I'm painting on the paper, but your canvas has those little uh, divots sometimes too, so it'll have a similar look. So now I've got some white on my snow person. How's everybody doing this morning? Looking forward to the weekend? Hey, Tammy, yeah, of course. I always pop on, but I don't expect you all to be able to pop on with me. But it's here for you to view any time. So that's the great thing. The live stays on the page. And you can watch it at your convenience. Pull it up when you want to sit down and paint some snowmen. So we're starting to build up the snow there. See, they're a little more snow-like. We'll get a little more snow down here. Just something for them to sit on. And what I do is I put a few coats of the white. While that's drying, I start working on their hats and scarves and whatnot. And like I said, this guy is gonna be a little brighter white on the right side. He's gonna have a little more shading on the left. I'm gonna build it up a little brighter. Can you see I'm really putting that paint on a little thick now. When we're painting snowmen, I don't mind some texture. This guy's going to be, the little one's gonna be brighter in the center. This one's gonna be brighter on the left side. Look at, I'm not being real careful. I'm not fussing with little lines. I'm having fun with this. I'm globbing it on. If I think it needs a little more of a shadow, sometimes it does. I do the shadows underneath like this. And I'm working fast so that I can sort of blend this paint in as I go. I have a little bit of time. I can take it now and soften it. I don't want to leave it as a harsh line like that, but that gives me time to soften that. And that's going to just give it a little dimension. They're going to start looking a little rounder, especially if I go onto one side and give it a little darker shadow here. If the paint has dried and it's not going to blend for me, I just take a little of the white on my brush and I blend it that way. And you see how it's getting a little shape? It's looking a little bit rounder. And then I just sort of play with it a little bit to get them how I want them. As it dries, the paint does kind of sink back a little tiny bit. So we will just add some brights there. And I'm doing these little strokes and dabbing it on so I can get a little bit of a snow texture. 
I'll get some brighter snow but underneath them here and there, but I'm still leaving some of the darker blue gray showing. Okay, we got basic snowmen there. Let's give them some details. I'm gonna just use my little round brush, which I have lost. Painting on a dark background. So there's a few little issues that are a little different if you are painting light, but snowmen are great on a dark or a blue background because they really pop. So sometimes when I go to put on their little details, say a scarf or a hat, I'm gonna give her a little hat. See how the paint is a little transparent? See, you can see through it. To solve that problem, just add some white. We can always get it deeper orange after, but if we get the white on there now, it'll give us a nice base. It'll also give us a highlight where we need it. And we can put our orange back on later if we want it to be a little more orange. I love their little curly Q hats. A little like gnome hats, but you could make them as a snow gnome too, actually, if you wanted to. So I just put, I base in all of their scarves and hats next and then go back and give them a second coat. But like I said, if we need help with coverage, that's gonna cover fine because it's on the white. But once we get out here and we do the scarf, see how you see that dark blue through? Just take a little white, mix it with your paint. Get a little bit of a white base there and we can brighten that turquoise up as much as we need to afterwards. And I love this combination of the teal and the orange and the lime green. It just, I, I've been in the real teal kick all, all summer and I'm carrying it over into my snowman. See how I'm adding a little white to that lime green now? Make that hat sit down on his head a little more. And some pink. Actually, I did some pink on this guy, too, which is kind of a cool. It was like a purpley pink. Let's throw some of that out. And this one will get that kind of a hat. So what I do is I just start with a little hat band. So just, just to fit, sit on their head, make it look like they're wearing a hat. It comes down a little bit. And then we can just make this little stocking knit cap. And you can again see how dark it is, but that's okay. I'll place it on there. I'll grab some white. And that's gonna help with the coverage. Let's give this little one, I like the pink and the lime green. So let's give this one a pink purple scarf. Add orange on this. I'm just trying to mix the colors up a little bit. A little scarf for you. These are really fun to paint. I do like to give them a little white, like a little highlight. And that's probably good enough there. I don't mind a little of the dark showing through. Go back with some turquoise here. I'm kind of, well, we're gonna put snowflakes, so we won't worry about that, but I'm always carrying paint on my wrist there. There, can always add some like little uh, fringe. That's always fun. And let's get some a little brighter lime green here on this hat. A little bit of white on the edge so we can give it a highlight. Maybe a little white here for a highlight too. And the pink one. We'll get this a little deeper with a little brighter color. And A little highlight on that side. You can kind of see how I've got them darker on this side and the highlights up here. And let's finish 
brush. Oh, I probably should have done the pink on the scarf there while I had the pink on my brush. A little orange to brighten up this one. Now and then I'll just add this white just for a little highlight. Uh, some little fringe on this guy. Just a little fringe. Let's give this a little bit go over of that pinky color. We can add some little polka dots to their hats and scarf or stripes, whatever we wish. The little dotting tool is perfect for some little dots or you can just use the back end of your brush. But I like to go back and give them some polka dots. I love polka dots and stripes. If they were any bigger, you could get much fancier with the designs on there. You could do like a little knit design or something, but these guys are little. We're gonna be painting these on little gifts to give. So as you're walking through the craft store, I go through and I look for little, little tiny canvases, little tiny, um, even keychains or magnets or any little surfaces that you can paint a little something on. I'm gonna do some stripes too. Get a little bit of fresh white here. And let's do a stripe on her, on the scarf here. It's a little wet here, but I'm gonna try to, yeah, it's working. I was gonna say, I was gonna just try to go right over the wet paint. Okay. Maybe a stripe, actually little ribs on their knit hat bands. Maybe I'm going to stripe that scarf. Like I said, this is pretty simple because it's going to be little when you paint it. But you know what's fun? If you even wanted to paint it on some sort of mixed media paper, I have done some uh, watercolor paintings of these little guys and made them into the family size and then had a funny, put like the person's name up here, the last name, or our fa family is full of flakes or something funny on the, um, you can write on there and you can frame it. It doesn't have to really be a small little thing, I guess. You could do something even a little bigger. I'm going to do some stripes on this hat, but I... I'm turning it so I don't put my wrist right in that wet paint. Uh, you know what this needs? A little pom-pom. A little tassel. And I could get detailed if I want and put little polka dots on this scarf, I suppose. Sometimes less is more and sometimes more is more, so. Okay. They need some faces, and as simple as your Sharpie marker or a little tool, a dotting to do dots, and I just give them, oh, you know what, we forgot. They have to have noses. Since I've got the daughter here, we'll just give them some eyes first. We'll give them some buttons, and then we will give them noses and arms. Because they're looking a little crazy right there. So they just need little orange noses, and those are simple, just with your little round brush. I lots of times like to make them looking up. And this little guy can just, nose can go to the side. If the nose doesn't show up on the dark, you can just take a little white. And now, tiny little mouths. Oh, our little guy didn't have any buttons. Hang on, Mister. we'll get you some buttons. We'll get you some arms. I'm going to just use brown. Brown is not gonna show up a whole lot on this background, so I'm just loading my brush with brown and I'm gonna grab a little white. So that, well, I'm gonna grab more white because you can't really see that. So let me just put them in place where they're going. Uh, that could go behind. These little ones could go here. And I'm taking white now on my brush just to highlight where they are on the dark. Can you see? Now you can see that little arm a little better. Um, rosy cheeks are fun. So let me get a little bit of a pink here. I like to put rosy cheeks on them sometimes. And then little mouths. 
The mouths are um, pretty tiny. I'm using a teeny tiny little tiny brush. But remember, it's just as easy to do it with your Sharpie or your paint marker. You can make little smiley mouths. You can make little mouths that look like they're singing or maybe yelling, but singing. And just little mouths. How cute. Now, the best part, the most fun part is the snow. So we are going to add snow. This technique is super fun. It's just with an old toothbrush. A little water on that brush into my white, pull it aside, just water down a bit. Now, the, t the uh, consistency is watered down, but try it first, maybe on something on the side so you don't get those big uh, blobs. Because if it's too watery, you'll get a big blob. And really, it's simply as easy as splattering. Now, clear the decks because you will spatter this everywhere. Now, another fun thing, probably not on a little tiny painting, but sometimes when I'm doing snow or starry skies with people, they sometimes like to put little shooting stars in and different things. This is basically snow. Um, if you want to add a few bigger flakes, I just take my little tool in and I add a few more. And that's it. Simple, easy peasy, right? little families of snowmen. And again, do do a little families. You could put two little ones here. How about a little um, snow dog? You could do that. That would be kind of cool too. So yeah. Anyways, quick and easy, right? What do you guys think? Those were pretty cinchy, I think. And in what, 20 minutes we did those. So um, Carol, when you paint this on glass, would you... I don't seal it, Carol, on glass. I use a, um, let me grab one of the paints and I'll show you. It is a multi-purpose paint. And where did I put those guys? Let me see if I can grab one for you. I don't have them right in front of me. I just did a class and I don't have them, but they just look in with the acrylic paints that you're buying. On the top, there usually is a little logo of a glass or if it says multi-surface. I use that for my glass painting. I paint it on. And then there's directions on the bottle. You bake them in your home oven. You put them in a cold oven. I think it's like 325 for 20 minutes, but the directions are on the bottle, and that seals it. So I don't put any sealer over this. And on my little guys, which don't get baked because they're just a little ornament, that's not going to come off if you use that multi-surface paint. And that's those little ornaments are pretty cute. I've added some glitter. So you can always, on top of these guys, add this uh, glitter, which is... I've been hooked on the glitter lately. Really fun. Once you start, you don't know you don't want to stop. You keep going. But um, anyway, let me turn you guys around here, and I could say thanks for painting with me. And oh, there. Sorry about that. It's kind of crazy, but anyways, they were quick and they were easy and fun. Oh, my big old hand in there. You don't need that. Um, so keep your eyes out for fun and interesting things to paint them on. You, there's all sorts of things. And I'd love to see what you're painting them on. So post a picture. And you guys, um, a lot of you got notification that I was going live. If you are interested in getting um, a little text before I pop on like this and go live, text me at this number and 978-315-5650. That way I'll give you a heads up next time I go on. It's at random times when I just have a minute and uh, have a project. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I also have a free group here called Learn to Paint with Cheryl. So if you guys are interested in that free group, we do little uh, tutorials and I upload little lessons here and there and we all uh, communicate and it's a nice community of people to uh, if you are interested in, in chatting with other fellow artists so it's learn to paint with Cheryl I'll put a link but thank you guys for watching me this morning have a great weekend I'll talk to you soon bye